What did a friend of yours do that turned you on without them knowing it? Don't forget to subscribe for daily Reddit videos. The restaurant I used to work at had a vacuum we could use that was shaped as a big red box that you could strap to your back like a backpack. It definitely looked straight out of Ghostbusters. My very cute co-worker was using it and when I jokingly asked if she was having fun she responded with who you gonna call? Wink. This was almost 10 years ago. I was sitting on the steps of Aya shop with a couple friends when she came around the corner with some of her friends. We talked a bit and then she sat on my lap and brushed my hair. She couldn't get rid of me from that time on. We were married for 44 years and she died of cancer in March this year. I feel so empty and lonely and miss her like crazy. I was wearing a jacket that was unzipped. She put her arms inside my jacket to hug me goodbye. Felt weird for some reason, even though it was outside the shirt I was wearing. A good friend and I were once drunk and tired so we came up with the idea of taking turns slapping each other in the face. So that was a weird boner. She was meant to go out but ended up sitting with me chatting. She was all dressed up and because of the way she was sitting her dress kept sliding up her thigh. She fixed it twice but stopped trying. Her thigh wasn't totally exposed but a bit more was showing off. That's how I realized I have a thing for legs. We were studying and she said fuck this. Let's do some jujitsu and jumped on me. I did my fucking best to prevent that erection. I was wrestling with a girl, not fake wrestling. Both of us were actually trying to win and we were in a ring, who I wasn't really interested in. When she had me in a hold that I wasn't able to get out of I got a small chub. A college housemate was on the couch next to me as we watched TV one night. She mentioned a concert that was coming up and asked if I was down to go. I wasn't too keen so I turned and have her a blank stare. She held my gaze and moved her eyebrows up and down twice quickly. The effect was devastating. I don't know if it counts as turned on or a moment of deep infatuation, but I still think about those goddamn eyebrows. As a joke of my best friend attempting to act crazy she put her hand around my neck and tried to choke me and I just started smiling. She bit me in the face, softly. So it was the day after this huge natural disaster happened, major news story in the US in August 2017, and the government agency I work for was like, all hands on deck, so every civil engineer was assigned to relief and recovery efforts including me the guy who sat next to me at work was your typical nerdy engineer but dressed nicer then as i was waiting outside to be sent to the field i saw him getting out of a truck wearing dirty jeans steel toe boots and carrying his hard hat looking all sweaty and dirty and delicious he's my boyfriend now when my husband at the time was just my friend we were wrestling a bit and I ended up standing over him with my foot pressed on his stomach. He tried to move and I tease don't move or I'll step on you harder and press down playfully. It was that moment I realized he liked dominant women and I liked dominating. Edit. Didn't realize you all were into this, smiley face. For those of you who are mentioning that I turned myself on first, I didn't get turned on at this point at all. It was only after we dated for a bit and talked more about what kinks we like that I realized I wasn't a sub but more of a dom slash brat. No matter the person, anyone whispering in my ear turns me on. It doesn't even matter what they say haha. FaceTimed me while she was wearing cute pajamas. Now cute pajamas is on my ever growing list of things that I am ashamed turns me on. Fuck. Edit. Seems like a lot of people have a pajama turn on too, along with a few other ones I have. Feeling a little less ashamed now. Thanks guys. Long, affectionate hugs. An attractive female friend of mine gave me a hug that lasted around 30 seconds and she was squeezing me the entire time. Halfway into the hug, I popped an unexpected boner that I'm pretty sure poked her thigh. I don't think she noticed, and if she did, she never said anything about it. He was giving a talk in front of a bunch of people and he was so confident and intelligent and everyone was just so engaged with what he was saying. I legitimately wanted to just suck his dick right there. Watching him own that room was so fucking hot. A friend of mine asked me to hang out with her in her dorm room. We were planning on watching a movie, but at the same time she said she was going to do some laundry. I told her I had no issue helping her with, i.e., carrying the actual laundry bag. I knew she was kind of taking advantage of me. But she also made killer nachos, so it seemed like a fair trade. When I got there she was essentially wearing sleepwear. A tank top half shirt and very tight red running shorts. It was very difficult to pay attention to movie. I sat beside a girl in school, really attractive with a nice body. She always leaned backwards over her chair to stretch and crack her back. So when she did it she let out that huge sigh and a little moan. Ye fuck concentrating for the rest of the lesson. 
I blame her for being bad in school. It's a little embarrassing but I had a work friend who laughed as she grabbed my arm after I told her a joke. One of my friends once said, as she looked at herself in the mirror, damn, I'd fuck myself, really turned me on for some reason. 15 years ago my friend at uni invited some of us over to watch him play Resident Evil 4 that had just been released on the GameCube and later watch a film. Knocked on his door, he answered and I got the strangest lady boner. He had picked up his new glasses and had a haircut when he picked up the game in town. Something about his new look stirred something inside me. Started dating 4 years later and we're getting married next year. Edit, wow, lots of people like this story. Told my fiancé about topic and he immediately said did you post about my haircut and glasses when we played Resi 4? So yeah he is well aware of the story now smile. I have an attractive female friend who I was visiting. We were sitting in her kitchen and she got up to get a coke from her refrigerator. She was wearing short shorts and as she bent over to get the soda she asked me if I wanted anything. It took me a few seconds but I managed to say no. I lied friend that sat in front of me in class who wore leggings bent over to get her pencil. She is fit, scary good looking, and has an ass that looks like it was carved out by gods. At full bend she had her ass straight toward my face and I literally whispered the words holy fucking shit kill me under my breath. It's been over a week and I still think about it. She turned pages and pulled stops for my college junior year organ recital. As she moved from one side of the organ console to the other, she kept brushing me with her breasts. I had a crush on a friend for a couple of weeks when I got a feeling that it was fading. Good. Because feelings are complicated. But then he trimmed his beard. Ah shit. Here we go again. Went to visit a group of friends after I had moved to another town three hours away. One guy friend, I'm F, got the skiddy look, ran, jumped over a railing in some crazy smooth pro athlete style, and enveloped me in this huge bear hug. Was not expecting that and woe felt things for him I had never before was friends with a high school crush. We had a class together and would occasionally have chill days. I was sitting in front of her and turned my desk 90 degrees so I could comfortably talk to her. She then picked her legs up and put them across mine. Put her hair in pigtails. I legit fucking died after getting home. She never wears skirts, except for that one time she did. It was this light colorful flowing number. It did amazing things to her already fantastic figure. We were at a local indie wrestling show. And she started heckling one of the guys in the ring. He started responding to her, and then tried to pick a fight, pointing for her to get in the ring. Instead, she just points at her feet and stares this hulk of a wrestler down until he relents. Fucking damn. I lost a bet and he arched one of his eyebrows and gave me that smirk as he advanced towards me while unbuttoning his sleeves and rolling them up saying, What should I make you do for losing, hmm? One time, I was grabbing lunch with a friend. I'm kind of dorky and like things like comics and video games. Most of the time when I bring it up, guys feel the need to keep talking lore with me until they paint me into a corner with something I don't know. It's like they're testing my knowledge or something because they think I'm a poser. This time was different though. He just let me gush and then told me about the stuff he liked without being a snob about it. We didn't agree on all points but he wasn't confrontational about it. I'm a really soft spoken and shy person but I could have grabbed his collar and kissed him right then and there. I wanted him to grab my hand on the way home so bad but he never did. We've known each other for years now and he just recently told me that he had a crush on another girl he was friends with. Just about shattered my whole world but I'll be okay with some time. I, M, had a friend, F, in college that I was pretty close with. We had a lot of overlap in our classes, we were from the same city so occasionally drove back home together. Our college was 4 hours away, etc. We got along very well, but most of our interaction was class slash homework related rather than social stuff, so I never really thought about her in a romantic context. She was one of those stay in and study on Friday slash Saturday nights underclassmen, and I was going out and getting loaded every weekend. One day in the computer lab, she came up behind me and put her hands on my shoulders and asked me a perfectly normal question about what I was working on. There was just something about the physical touch, the fact that I was distracted, her scent, the fact that we were close friends. I jumped like someone had hit me with a cattle prod. It dawned on me that this is someone I should be trying to date instead of going out and getting wasted at yet another kegger. Unfortunately, she was dating someone at the time, I was nowhere near forward enough to try and break someone up, and I didn't want to risk our friendship. So nothing ever happened. She was in one relationship or another for the rest of college, and ended up marrying the guy she dated our senior year. My friend laid next to me on her belly while we were watching TV, 
just seeing her butt with her legs fully extended. It was hard to focus on the TV lol. Was grabbing my arm to show me something, then ran her hand up and down it in surprise because I was getting a little buff and she felt the new muscles. I remember back in high school I had this crush on my friend and he came over for some reason or another. As soon as he entered my room he kind of just flopped himself back to lay down on my bed and stretched out lazily. I went bright red and couldn't focus on anything. Ugh. It's been a long time since I've felt that way about anyone. I was sitting and focused on my work in front of me, and she came up behind me and ran her hand across the top of my head, and I wouldn't say it turned me on, but it was an instant sensation over my entire scalp and down my spine, and my neck stopped supporting my head for a moment. I was drinking with this girl and seating was limited so she sat on my lap, she's very overtly sexual but not a slut by any means, and my roommates came out and sat around us. I'd quiet at the way she was sitting and how confident she was made me crazy. I kept it under control for about an hour but then with the power of alcohol she felt me getting hard. Then without missing a beat leaned back and whispered I didn't know you liked this. I was fucking her 5 minutes later. I feel so weird reading everyone's comment and realizing I never got turned on by a friend. It legitimately never happened, ever. People that I consider just friends are in this friend zone in my head where I can't conceivably be turned on by them. I guess it's because if they're just a friend I subconsciously eliminated them from being fuckable in my head. I'm a dude. In 7th grade, a friend of mine used to always show off she had no gag reflex. I made out with a friend one time. My pants stayed on but it got a little handsy. The next weekend we are out with friends at a bar. It was just her and I talking and I made a self-deprecating joke about the size of my penis. She replied, it's not that small. Obviously, all I heard was you have the biggest dick I have even seen. Touch my arm lol. I'm a straight girl and I've never been into girls but I do feel bi curious. This one time, my childhood BFF came home and we had a sleepover with other female friends. We were all in PJs chatting about nothing in particular. Then we decided to watch a movie and my BFF decides to sit on my lap, and that was okay but after a few minutes she started moving her hips slightly like trying to adjust her sitting position and something about the smell of her hair or the hips motion just did the trick. Edit. Fixed a few typos. Snapchat girl fighter. She was singing as part of a play for an arts program I was participating in. I had just met her a few weeks before that performance, and was dating someone at the time. But my heart stopped for a second when I heard her. I didn't get to really talk to her for a few years after that but always kept how that felt in mind. A year and a half ago I shot my shot and we've been dating since. Not exactly turned on, but absolutely taken by her.